Hi there, Aaron's here with Advanced English Words. Let's learn some. As you've got used to it, we are revising three previously learned ones. Word number one, uncanny. Strange and weird in a way that feels mysterious. Word number two, paraphrase. Express in a shorter, clearer or different way what someone has said or written. Word number three, digress. To talk or write about something that is not your main subject. We are learning the word today, pragmatic. Pragmatic. P-R-A-G-M-A-T-I-C. Practical. Having to do with actual practice, concerned with everyday affairs, as opposed to theory or speculation. Pragmatic comes from the Greek pragma, deed, a word that describes a philosophy of doing what works best. The word historically described philosophers and politicians who were concerned more with real-world application of ideas than with abstract notions. Later in Latin, the word pragmaticus meant skilled in business or law. The lawyer is concerned with evidence and proof. The business person is concerned with facts and figures. Both have little time for idle speculation or harebrained schemes. Both must be pragmatic, concerned with practical everyday affairs. To describe a person or a solution that takes a realistic approach, consider the adjective pragmatic. The four-year-old who wants a unicorn for her birthday isn't very pragmatic. We need a pragmatic approach to sex education in schools. The opposite of idealistic is pragmatic. A pragmatic person is sensible, grounded and practical and doesn't expect a birthday celebration filled with magical creatures. Pragmatic. P-R-A-G-M-A-T-I-C Guided by practical experience and observation rather than theory. Concerned with practical matters.